All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk about an MVP of a no-code, basically web app that I designed and put together the last few weeks. I wanted to share with you basically a combination of Webflow, Wizd, and Xano to do API calls from external APIs, just to kind of prove a concept. So originally, I laid this out in Figma just to get an overall idea of what the product would be doing. So the idea is basically to take a manufacturer part number of an electronic component, and don't worry, I'll do a longer video kind of walking through really what this is uh, in the future. But just for now, essentially, we wanted to tap into a few external APIs to generate this data. So to take a customer part number or manufacturer part number, MPN, uh, run it through these APIs, which return a data set of similar parts or recommended parts, also known as cross-references. And then utilizing that return data, basically we wanted to do some sort of uh, interpretation with that and that'd be kind of the further development of the app so then we would get user feedback is this the part you're looking for can this other cross-reference part that we recommended can this be utilized and can you actually use it and would you um, and if not why right so we could over or so we could get customer data and user feedback and make a bunch of uh, data manipulation etc but that's the overall idea, um, the way that this is all patched together. So this is just a Webflow front end, Webflow website, uh, super simple. I'll jump into Webflow and show you as well. But um, did all the design in there. And then really the only IO coming out of here is entering the manufacturer part number, right? So go ahead and highlight this just example one, pop it in there, click go or find me across. It's gonna do the action and run everything on the back end, and then boom, it's gonna populate the alternatives. So there it is. That's kind of the development, or rather the performance and, and current function. Um, this stuff really isn't connected yet, but at least you're seeing live data being returned with live links. So go back to new search. Essentially, like I mentioned, this is the only if you jump into WISD, you know, to show kind of the bridge between these two, hit X-ray couple different things happening so you have on the action button the submit npm right um that's text you see the button has a function as well as the input npm and we can show that over here yeah so there's the base url so this is the xano setup so um, we just to kind of prove this out essentially only use the digikey api just the easiest one to work with um, so we started with that guy was able to get just access to you know api solutions for them um show that here but yeah that's the one that we got working at the beginning so jump in here api so this was the xano setup so essentially we're uh doing the api request to this link uh the create a variable for access token so the digikey api gives us an access token that we then have to run it by uh, them for each iteration or each request. Once we're in here, we pass them a manufacturer part number into their API uh, or their specific, their specific tool. So their product substitution search. And then we're passing in this variable MPN and that's right here. So we're replacing it with the input MPN that's where, that we're getting from Webflow and the user input. Um, then we're running this access token verification. And then for each of the loops, then we're gonna save that data uh, into a table because as I mentioned, we wanna be able to further, further utilize the information or manipulate the data for all these searches and then eventually build a you know database of, these are all the searched and crossed parts that we have and here's what people typically choose as the best alternative. Um, that'd be how we would gather all this data over time. So that's kind of it from the Xano side fairly simple straightforward it took a few times you know going through this to get the access token um, stuff right uh, but WISD is also fairly simple i'll just click through this so you can see yeah so you can get kind of an idea for the return data as well uh, here so you know honestly this is a great way to do an MVP of your of your product, or in this case, this is a tool that I'm I'm developing for uh, my nine to five, my day job, and so it's really cool to be able to develop and essentially spit out an MVP 
that, you know, without a ton of time, I did have an Upwork consultant kind of help me with some of the Xano setup, but just to save time and that, you know, we were able to get it, everything done in, in a week, right? I spun up the front end on Webflow. Um, I started poking around in Wizd and kind of got stuck. And then Xano, I was able to get some stuff working, but the freelancer on Upwork was really able to help me finalize the Xano actions uh, and then get everything further connected and just save me a bunch of time or really a few days of time. So yeah, that's the current execution of it. That kind of shows you how to combine Webflow, Wizd, and Xano in a very simple implementation, but passing data into the Webflow front end connecting that with Wiz to Xano, uh, and then just actually taking an action and then getting a result, um, you know, with this simple example as well, again, for you. So I hope that helps. Uh, this was knocked out fairly quickly in under a week. And this is really the way I see being able to spin up all software MVPs, at least, especially if you're someone who isn't super skilled at, at web development or I mean, uh, software development, which I am definitely not. I am not a you know software developer or any sort of developer. So this is a great way to demonstrate ideas and business you know tools, even little web apps, things like that in a very quick way and a very inexpensive way without having to spin up anything further where you can demonstrate this to investors, customers, and things of that nature. So I hope this helped you. If you want any, uh, if you want me to go through anything else in more detail, I'm going to make a longer video about what this actually is and how this would look in the future if we continue to build it out. But I hope that video helped and appreciate you watching. Thanks.